Nicholas, the housekeeper let us in. Yeah, we're here to take you to the memorial. Nicholas? He's not here. I need to find him. Come on. We are here to celebrate the life of a very extraordinary woman. you pretending to grieve for Courtney. It would be laughable if it weren't so pathetic. Sonny, you only, you only acknowledge Courtney as your sister when it was convenient for you. When, you. when you didn't agree with the choices that she made, you ignored her. Told her she wasn't welcome in your home. You couldn't even be bothered to stay at the hospital the night, the night that she you died. You knew that she was sick. I mean, if, if the positions were reversed, she wouldn't have left him. But you never even, you never even gave her a second thought. Janine, Courtney's mother, told Courtney that her father was dead because she was mad at him, Alan. Called her a whore and a murderer, didn't you? Jason, Jason here married Courtney, pulled her into his iconic life of crime, which caused her to lose the baby, and then he abandoned her. Jax, Courtney's supposed happily ever after. You used her to have a baby. What is that? And for those of you who, who didn't call Courtney names to her face, you did so back and she knew it. You're all hypocrites. It is a miracle, a miracle, Father, that the ceiling hasn't fallen in on the whole damn lot of you. Stop. I know you're grieving, but this isn't helping anyone. Why do you care? You never liked or approved of Courtney. You tried endlessly to convince me that I wasn't in love with her, that we had no future. Well, it turns out you were right. Courtney has no future with anyone. She wouldn't want you doing this, Nicholas. I know you're hurting. You want the rest of us to hurt, but this will not bring her back. No, it won't. Nothing will bring Courtney back, which I'm sure is a relief to all of you. You can gradually forget what you did to Courtney, how you treated her. And all she ever wanted was for everyone in her life to be happy, and this is what she gets for it. Have you heard from your son's nanny since the abduction? Ha what? Have Has Colleen made a ransom demand? If, if she had, I would have paid it by now. Why are you even... Well, in cases like this, parents are often contacted by the kidnapper and warned not to cooperate with the police. Now, I can assure you that could be the worst mistake you can make. So if you're still wanting out of fear, it's not going to help. Fe fear? Oh, I'm, af I'm afraid, Detective, because some psycho took my son. I, look, I pray that all Colleen wants is money. Because if she, if she calls and asks for a, a ransom, I I'll give it to her. No questions asked. That's what she's counting on. So if she's contacted you, you need to let she, she hasn't contacted me and she won't contact me because it's not money that she wants. It's me that she wants. And because I turned her down, because I, I ruined her delusion of a perfect little family, she took Spencer to start a new one of her own. You can't jump to conclusions. Jump to conclusions? You want conclusions? My son is missing and you guys aren't doing enough to find him. You need, you need to calm down. We're trying to help. You want to you help? Then go out there and find my son instead of standing there asking me questions that I already know. I think you should take Nicholas home. I'm not going anywhere until Colleen McHenry, whatever the hell her name is, is in custody. I'm not going anywhere. The best thing we can do for Spencer is just to go home and let the police do their job. You want me to go? Okay, fine. I'll go find my son on my own. 
meth and launch, Emily. Just just go back to the station and tell Lucky you did your duty. You need to calm down. No. No, I don't want to calm down. I'm sick of people trying to tell me to calm down. My son is out there somewhere, alone, and scared to death because I couldn't keep him safe. No, that is not true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Everyone tried to warn me, Emily. You, Helena, even... Jax and Carly, they lied to me for months because they didn't think I could keep them safe, and it turns out they were right. And I was too concerned with claiming what was mine to listen. How could I, how could I let this happen to my son? I, br I brought her into my home, Emily. I gave her access to my son. And now he's, and now he's gone. He's, he's gone. Realize the police are doing everything they can. But they're not doing enough. Well, I have to do something. You want to do something? You start by pulling yourself together. Let me point out one crucial difference between myself and the Cassidines you've known. You've got a beard. I've got Lush's son. I'm sure you made him everything he is today. Someone had to raise him. Two of you ought to be happy here, as long as you brought the coffins to sleep in. What's he doing here? This is Mr. Spencer. I know who he is. Apparently he was in the neighborhood, but he's just leaving. So what's taking you so long? You must be so proud, Stefan. And what kind of father are you? They don't even know where you are. They're at the mercy of your namesake and his A to Z plan. You call yourself your family's protector. Who saved my sister's life, huh? Not you. And who waited tonight by Laura's bedside, huh? Not you. You little bastard! Hands off him. Spencer, release the boy! It's your own fault for leaving Nicholas. the first place. You ever lay a hand on him again, you will have a use for that headstone. You make sure I don't have to. This is how you obey me. What did I tell you about seeing your mother? I didn't know she was there. Tell me everything. Okay, now everybody, oh, take Morgan's hand, move him in just a little bit, everybody, big smile. Courtney <laughs> okay. would be proud that her son is yes. surrounded by her family and Jackson. Yes. Oh, we got that one. Here. <laughs> there we go. Maybe. I think it's beautiful. How do you go? Oh, it's enough hypocrisy for one day, Carly. Jackson's not John's father. Just, just let, let me understand this for, for one minute. You fixed a paternity test. Claimed to be John's father. And then lied about all of it. You kept my son away from me. Last time I saw Courtney, she told me she loved me. She was she was struggling to say something else, but she, well, she, she died before she could get the words out. You ignored Courtney's last wish for her child and kept up a lie. Do, do you have any idea? What this has done to me. You kept my son away. Away from me for the first months of his life. That time is gone, Jax. I can't get that back. An attack of conscience because I had to grovel. I had to grovel just to be in the same room with my son. And you acted like it was some magnanimous act on, on, on your part just to, just to let me hold him. 
My son. Hey, come on in here. Oh, let me get my hands on this beautiful <laughs> baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, Something going on here? Oh, well, that's a very astute observation. Surprise! <laughs> I guess and say we pulled off a surprise. <laughs> yeah, I can honestly say the last thing I expected was a party. Yes. Okay, I've waited long enough. Please, may I hold him? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my! Oh my God! And how gorgeous! Welcome to your family. Your mom would be so proud. Yeah, Mr. Two. I came to see her. Nicholas, my darling. Oh, so dramatic. It's lovely to see you again. Under any circumstance. Save the civilities, please. I certainly intend to. Did you bring the children with you? I, I do hope so. It's been far too long since Spencer sat down with me and learned the stories of his legacy. Let's hope they're not bedtime stories he'd never sleep again. It's important that Aiden be informed as well. You mean Aiden? Aiden? You test me. Spencer is somewhere safe. And Aiden is with his parents. Really? Well, I was hoping that you had rethought all of that. Well, surely you know you shouldn't give credence to Elizabeth's 11th hour claims. A woman who wears desperation like some women wear perfume. I wouldn't put it past you to manipulate a DNA test. Or two. Shouldn't you be off having your own family illusions shattered? My dad's not going to push me away. Well, if he, if he shows up. You know, Luke isn't the most reliable man. Well, take Nicholas, however. No, he feels that he's bound by conventions, but he abandoned his child. No, I... Poor little Aiden is going to grow up being a commoner. Aiden is not your concern. You leave him alone. And don't even speak his name. Well, <laughs> the dark brooding prince returns. It's so good to have you home. You are home, aren't you? My home. Well, it was for years. The halls are full of, of memories. No, as a matter of fact, I was just sharing the story of your conception with Lulu. How Stavros forced himself on our mother? Careful, dear. People in glass houses. My parents loved each other. Well, they grew to love each other. But your father became bored. When I assure you that the first night they spent together was far from a fairy tale. Well, at least Stavros had the decency to consummate the affair in a bed. But Luke... Luke opted for the floor of a campus disco. Decent? There was nothing decent about my father. He was a monster. Our family tree is full of them, each uglier than the one before. Well, if you feel no kinship for the people who were here before, why come Grandmother, back? Grandmother, you've been trying to manipulate me since the day I was born, using me as a pawn in this endless war that you have with Luke. But I'm telling you right now, it's done. It's over. Well, I never pawned you. You don't you mention it, you're right. You didn't. I was more like a, uh, like, a, like a Trojan horse, per se. Yes? Raised to, to hate the Spencers, and then, and then you, you served me up to them as the savior. The donor that was, that was sent to save his sister's life. And that just proves how patient and opportunistic you can be. Well, I pride myself in paying attention. And Lulu has led a very full life thanks to my efforts. Oh, this is where you expect gratitude? I don't expect much from you at all. And neither does your father, for that matter. Now, Luke dedicated his efforts to Lucky. And what a disappointment that turned out to be. And you were hoping that, 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 I, would, that I would take that hostility and then take the torch and keep the Cassidy and Spencer war alive for generations to come. But you were wrong. Is that so? I, I want nothing to do with your ignorant feud or with this family. But Nicholas, Nicholas, you have to be who you are, a Cassidyne, made in the image of Mikos and Stavros. Now their blood runs through your veins. 
It's time to embrace it. Is it? Careful what you wish for. This house always felt like prison to me. Cold. Imposing, self-possessed, a lot like the people who lived here. And then I moved to Port Charles, met my mother, and I saw how warm and loving she was towards everyone. And that's when I understood why my father was so obsessed with keeping her here. It's because she was a breath of fresh air in an otherwise dank and suffocating environment. Laura was an insipid woman who brought about the ruin of far too many. Stavros was only the first. Now, poor Luke was saddled with a life in suburbia, stripped of everything that was interesting. Now, it took many years, but he finally freed himself, and I, for one, couldn't be happier. Of course you are. He's looking to self-destruct, and what better way than with you? Yeah, you, you and Luke have this, this... Well, it's sick. This sick duet with each other that's been going on for decades with no thought of who gets hurt in the wake. Well, I would never hurt you. Really? Well, I have evidence to the contrary, Grandmother. For the last year of my life, I thought that I was Aiden's father, and as it turns out, Lucky might be his father. That's hurt. That's real hurt. And I'm asking you, was that your plan all along? To switch the paternity test? To have me raise a Spencer child in some ultimate act of revenge? You are the very image of your father. Right down to, to Stavros's strong jaw. And yet, it's, it's Stefan's influence that shines through. Your, your uncle was weak, Nicholas. And it ultimately destroyed him. Don't let that happen to you. Look, he called me after you left, said that you weren't coming back. That's right. I apologize to you for not saying goodbye, but I, I, I really felt pressed to leave. Well, I understand that you're hurting, but running away isn't going to solve anything. I mean, look at my dad. <laughs> He's taken off to avoid dealing with pain. What does that solve? You're probably right. I'm just... Right now, I'm trying to do right by Aiden. I need to be a better father to him than I have been to Spencer. Okay? And what, what, what I'm trying to say is look, look around. Look, look at where I'm from. And you just witnessed who I'm from. Aiden is better off. Do you, do you still believe that you could be his father? I don't know, Lulu. I just don't know. Well, you could do another DNA test. No, I can't. If you're worried uh, about Helena, there are ways... Lucky needs to believe that he's Aiden's father right now. I can't be the reason he loses another son. Nicholas. Oh, I wish with all my heart that I didn't have to do this. But I have no choice. I came to say goodbye. by running away. That is not the answer. Please, don't ever blame yourself. Don't tell me what to do. And don't flatter yourself that you have the power to hurt me. I got over that years ago. But you were right about one thing. There's no reason for us to ever, ever see each other again. So excuse me. I have to walk and fix yourself.
Those were Luke's words, not Laura's. What's the difference? The difference is what we said before still holds true. She... She cares about you. Yeah. Clearly why she blew me off. Oh, come on. Didn't you see her face? Did you see the pain? The weakness? She was acting on Luke Spencer's demand. He's a tyrant. You know, your mother may have kept you a secret because she feared for her family, but she also feared her husband's violence. The man who calls us murderers. Oh, who cares? You know, who cares? She loves me, she loves me not. It's tedious and I'm sick of it. She did me a favor as far as I'm concerned. Well, be that as it may, we both agree on one point. She has no right to tell us what to do. However she may feel about it, we have no reason to leave poor Charles.